Welcome to ClickUp. Now that you're here, you're probably wondering, how do I set up my projects? To answer this question, let's review some best practices for how to structure your work in ClickUp. Okay, so your space is created and your team has a place to work. Great, now what? Depending on your projects, there are different best practice recommendations to consider. When your projects have lots of complexity, like needing to capture risk registries, sprints, or phases of projects, use folders. The most common setup is to start with your projects as lists. When you get more projects going, consider containing them in folders later. Today we'll be focusing on projects with small to medium complexity, where we'll start with projects as lists. Let's dive in and create a project together. When you get started, you'll want to create an intake list. Why an intake list? Intake will be the list of project requests that you need to review and triage as they come in, typically from a form. To do this, when you create an intake list, add a form view with all the details that you want to capture for your projects. The tasks that appear here in your intake list are your projects that you need to review. The custom fields shown capture all of your project details and requirements that you use to triage the incoming project requests. Use statuses in this list to represent the specific stage of the intake process. So if a project request is reviewed and approved, you can simply change the status here. If your project is small and less complex, you can actually use the task here as its own project and work on it from here. In fact, if you want to work on this task in another location, you can add it to another list known as tasks in multiple lists. If this is how you work on your projects and your projects are smaller, then you're good to go from here and you can work directly in the task. However, if your projects are a little bit more complex, what you'll need to do from here is to create another list where you track your actual project activities and progress. Let's take a look here at the intake list and see what can be approved as a project. As you can see, the summer blog series is now ready, so we can create a new list next. When you set up your new projects as a list, you have the freedom to add specific tasks containing processes or important information that you need to work through with your new project. Create tasks from scratch, or even consider applying a list or a task template to speed up your project creation from here. In the next course, you'll learn how to set up and customize your statuses and custom fields for your project.